All right, so what I got going on here in my backpack is a 48 volt headway pack at the bottom. That's 48 volt 10 amp hour. And on top, I've got six more cells from uh, PSI, which is a about 72 volt um, when the surface charge is gone, which is not bad considering that I'm on a, a kid's BMX. The rear e-bike kit hub motor and a 20 inch wheel and a uh, crystal light analog controller. Now it's 45 amp. Oh, it was a 35, but I soldered on the front. So it's up to 45 amps and got a cycle analyst and the handlebars. It's uh, an inline, not a direct. You got the shunt here, which uh, goes between the controller and your battery. You can get the cycle analyst with the six pin, but this controller doesn't have the six pin. It's got cruise control, but no um, cycle analyst connector. Um, I'm going to put on the backpack, start up the video again, and show you how, from a dead stop, how the motor tends to hesitate. It's got a growl that I don't like. Once you get rolling, it's smooth. It buzzes, but it's normal. I uh, JV welded all the coils to see if it would stop the vibration, prevent the noise from happening, whatnot. Um, but anyway, that didn't help. So, um, back in a minute. Okay, so here we go. Um, driving with one hand camera in the other, so might be a little shaky. Um, if I push off my foot and throttle on, no problem at all. Now, if I come to a dead stop, I throttle on. I don't know how the microphone picks this up. Now, it's only from a dead stop. If I come back again, rear brakes on this are crappy. So again, Okay, so, from a dead stop, if I throttle on, oh, <laughs> we just, oh, nice smoke, oh yeah, look at that, we killed one, <laughs> it smells great, so, I guess we'll be uh, replacing a controller, wonderful. 